This video, created in the Perfect Project and co-funded by the Erasmus Plus program of the European Union, aims to help you better understand the nuances of autism spectrum behaviors with deeper insights. In order to better understand children and people with autism, we need to be aware of some information about their way of thinking. There are cognitive theories that can help us develop a deeper understanding of how an individual with autism or related support needs might experience the world and respond to it. They can help us to think why challenges might happen and then how we might best make adaptations for individuals on the autistic spectrum in order to reduce anxiety and support participation and learning. Many of the behaviors in the diagnostic criteria may also occur in individuals without autism. Cognitive theories overlap and are not mutually exclusive, but each of them has a useful contribution to make in understanding people with autism. So let's dive into them with the first one, the theory of mind. Theory of mind is about reciprocal attention. It means understanding other people's thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and experiences, and taking this understanding into account in one's own actions. The most well-known test in theory of mind is the sally Ann test. Executive function theory is the ability to plan, organize, and sequence thoughts and actions, including the ability to control impulses. Weak central coherence theory is the tendency to focus on details rather than the big picture, which affects the person's ability to consider context. Some people with ASD can find Waldo in three to five minutes. Context blindness theory is a challenge in processing or using all of the information from visual, auditory, historical, and social contexts to make sense of experiences in the moment. Context blindness means missing the obvious. Autistic people may also have a double empathy problem. This theory was developed by people on the spectrum, and it means a mutual challenge of misunderstanding intentions, motivations, or communication between neurotypical people and people with autism. The last theory we will reveal in the present video is monotropism, or a tendency to focus attention on one thing at a time, with difficulty shifting attention and processing multiple simultaneous stimuli which might support understanding. We hope that this video on characteristics of autism was informative. If you want to know more about this topic, follow Perfect on Facebook for updates, or visit the project platform at www.perfectproject.org.